Hey everybody, welcome to the Science Hutch. I'm Hutch, and today we're talking about energy sublevels and how they fill with atomic orbitals. What I've got right here is the 1s2. This is the principal energy level 1. It's an s. s sublevels are spherical shaped, and every atomic orbital, which this is an entire orbital by itself, can hold two electrons, which is those little two, or you can draw it as an orbital diagram with a little up arrow and a little down arrow, and those represent electrons with different spins. Cool, so there's our first energy level with its own sublevel, and it's an orbital all by itself. The second energy level, principal energy level two, sublevel type S, so it's the same kind of shape, a sphere. It also can hold two electrons. It's just at a higher energy level, and it's more spread out from the center of the atom, which is the nucleus, which would be at the center of this, and this would be inside that. Again, orbital diagram would look like 1s2, you draw a box, up arrow, down arrow, 2s2, you draw a box, up arrow, down arrow. Now, after you're done with that, you gotta move up to another energy sublevel. You gotta move up to a P type of sublevel. It would be written like this, 2P6, and you can have three orbitals in there represented by three boxes, each of which can hold two electrons, up arrow, down arrow. So six electrons total. What would it look like though? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look at these atomic orbitals that live with inside the P energy sublevel. Here they are. Oh, look how cute. This right here would be a P sublevel alone. They're kind of like infinity sign shaped, or in some textbooks they're gonna say like dumbbell shaped. And we're gonna have three of them. So this is just one. Two electrons can live in this. This would be a second one. Here it comes. Wee whoop. La da da. And then a third one. Let me reach into the camera here and get it. Oh, there it is. And la di da. There it goes. But a bang. Here's all of our sublevels living in 3D space. Be whoop. Be whoop. Man, man, man. Where's that? Where is it? Here, come here, baby. There you go. Oh, okay. Look how cute it is. So the yellow balloons represent the 2p sublevel orbital that's going to be on the x axis. We'll call it a 2px. It can have two electrons. The pink represents the 2py on the y axis. And then this, pointing into and out of your screen right now, this is a z-axis, so this would be the 2pz. Their powers combined together, you're just gonna call this the 2p sublevel. And if it's full, it's gonna have six electrons in there. Hey, thanks for learning with me today. You're amazing for being a smart person and getting even smarter. You have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.